I am Sabiha Isak, founding member of the Global Respiratory Infection Partnership, and it is my pleasure today to interview Dr. Eduardo Savio from the International Pharmaceutical Federation and Ms. Helen Gordon from the Royal Pharmaceutical Society. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, my name is Eduardo Savio. I'm a FIP Basic President. FIP is a global body which represents more than 140 national associations which gather also pharmacists that works in the practice as well as pharmaceutical scientists. Our main goal is to support evolving practice based on the scientific innovations and how things are moving in the world. So what is the International Pharmaceutical Federation's position on antimicrobial resistance? I think uh, that is, uh, and it's not my personal belief, but the, the organization concerns that is a, a huge concern and so great effort has to be addressed in order to uh, achieve a better management of medicines. This better management of medicines plays the role of pharmacists in, in, in an excellent uh, position to play with different uh, action lines. Uh, we have uh, to take into consideration and, and develop a specific action in the general action plan that was approved last year by the WHO. And taking this into consideration, we have to work how public awareness about this problem is increased. Mm -hmm. We have to uh, improve the communication and we have to find new ways of communications in order to have the attention of the public and to be really, really uh, aware of what is the problem. Dr. Savia, could you tell us a little bit more about the International Pharmaceutical Federation's working group on antimicrobial resistance? Yes, uh, thank you for this question, which I really appreciate, because this group, the antimicrobial resistant working group was established this year on March during the bureau session that was held in the Netherlands, in the Egg. Um, it was analyzed and considered that we have a, a policy statement from 2008, which were approved in Basel, and the context in the world in antimicrobial resistance has changed quite a lot and a revision of our policy statements was considered to be very important and an urgent need. So a group with representation from South Africa, thanks to be a member of this working group, and representative from Japan, from South America, from uh, UK, and now from the hospital section pharmacy of uh, FIP, will join another colleague has started working recently and our deadline will be to produce our first draft document by the end of October. Uh, with this, we will start a process in discussion first at the at level of ESCO committee, at which are the expert committee, then the, the, it will follow a process that will arrive to the Bureau and then to all the national organizations to have their feedback, their comments, in order to build a, a new policy statement for the whole organization and for the, all the countries and organizations that belong to FIP. So once this policy statement of the International Pharmaceutical Federation is approved, how will the FIP go about implementing or facilitating its implementation? I am aware that it has to work at national and regional level as opposed to internationally. Yes, uh, the, the, the policy statement will have, uh, uh, will develop a, a group of recommendations. It will develop a group of recommendations for the pharmacists, for the national organizations, and also for the governments. And so it, it will be an opportunity for FIP to go to the national level and, and to work in the implementation. You know that one thing is to establish a policy and I think quite different is to implement the policy. And we have a, a, a broad opportunity to move from 
establishing the policy and implementing the policy. So it will be a beautiful opportunity to move from one step to the other and all together FIP with national organization to think together which are the best uh, movement to uh, transform the implementation process. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that.